Greetings and welcome to how to apply enamel or oil washes to Mark II Space Marines. Here you can see my world leaders from last week's video. Now it's been fully painted. They also have transfers, which I've cut up a little bit to show the chipping underneath better. And now we're going to have a look at the materials required for this technique. First of all, you need thinner. I'm using AK Interactive's Odorless Thinner and their Dark Wash, a paint well, and a couple of brushes. Stir your mix well. It should be two parts wash to one part thinner. And now apply liberally, but with a dab in motion. Don't try to paint it. It's very important to note that the models must be gloss varnished prior to this step, as you will see later in the hobby recap at the end of the video. This varnish will first of all protect your paint from the rather aggressive thinner, and secondly, it will greatly promote the capillary action by which the wash really functions. This is a, just a fancy word to say that the wash flows into the recesses of the miniature and it does so much, much better than any acrylic wash can ever do. This is the primary benefit over your regular Army Painter acrylic washes or GW or whatnot. In these first few models, I really was a little bit too heavy, but that can be very easily rectified unlike with acrylics, and as you will see in a later step. This is quite fun and relaxing even. It took me about 15 minutes, I think, to do the whole 10-man squad. You can see this requires very little to no effort. And I think it can be done at all skill levels for sure. As with chipping, there is very little to nothing that can really go badly wrong. That's the beauty of this. All of the fun, none of the stress. As you can see, that mix of the AK Interactive Dark Wash with their Otterless Thinner flows really well. I don't think you could ever get these results with anything except an oil wash. Just very briefly, I'll mention that the principle really is the same and you would use the same thinner. The only difference is that you will need to gauge the proportion of oil paint to thinner, basically playing it by ear, because the Oil paint is much more dense, so you can't really say one part this to one part that. You really need to look at the consistency of the mix and make sure that it's similar to what you've seen in this video. And now we get to the interesting part, blending. This is the part, like with the chip-in second part, that does require some skill. As far as materials is concerned, we just need the thinner and a small dry brush is best. The brush only needs to be damp, not wet. What you do is you drag the wash where you want it, basically. You can remove it or remove most of it, but most of the time what you will want to do is to, well, kind of guide it in the direction that you want. It's important to note that this step was done about two hours after I applied the wash. There is some drying time involved. If this had been an oil paint, instead that would have been basically 12 to 24 hours. You can see that in some parts I am removing the wash, in others I'm merely again dragging it where I want it. Some will always be left behind, 
after it's dry. Again, I waited about two hours. But again, you are able to remove quite a lot, which you would not be able to do at all had you used an acrylic wash. So this is really the main advantage. It's also super fun. You can create streaking effects. You can make sure that the wash is only in the recesses, even accumulated in certain parts if you want. The other thing I'll mention about oil washes as opposed to enamels is that with an oil wash not only does it dry really slowly but actually you can completely remove it if you want. With the enamel I find that there is always some uh, filtering it's called so it's kind of a tint. That white paint is always going to be tinted to some extent. If I had used an oil wash I could have removed all of it and basically leave no trace behind. For models this size though, I do prefer enamels, I find they're easier to use and I don't really mind that there is a little bit of tinting, it's much less than there would be with, with an acrylic wash. You know the quality of the video isn't the best, I'm having lots of problems with my camera, I apologize, but I hope that you guys can get the idea. Following that suggestion from a watcher last week, here is the hobby recap. First of all, the materials required, and then the steps. Don't forget that you need to apply gloss varnish before you start. And let it cure. And now let's have a look at the finished results. Well, up till now, that is. Here you can see what I was saying before about the transfers. I've cut them up, trying to line it up with the chips in the paint. I hope this has been enjoyable and useful. If so, please give me a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.